Welcome back. So our where we're at right now is we have our BMI calc object. We can enter in our height in meters, centimeters, and ke weight in kilos. It gives us our BMI, gives us some visual cue about our weight category, and uh, gives us some the information that we entered here. So in this video, we're going to implement the imperial and metric function. Something that I've already done is on the change of the radio button, I've updated the um, having a little mental blank here. Uh, I've updated the placeholder text, okay, inside the three inputs. So that's actually quite a straightforward bit of JavaScript. Uh, on each of the two radio buttons and the on click, I am calling the function change units and passing in either metric or imperial. Again, lots of different ways of doing this, but this is pretty simple. Okay, I'm getting the three labels. I'm accessing their attributes placeholder and I'm updating the text. So you can see I click on metric, it changes to meters, centimeters, and kilograms. Change imperial, kind of feet, inches, pounds. Now you may prefer, instead of using radio buttons, you may prefer to use a drop down box or a select uh, element. So we can do that. So let's let's uh, for now just comment out this and we'll create our select there and um, in the on change function oh, well let's let's start by just creating it shall we uh, we're going to give it a name. It's going to be units, same as this. And uh, we'll have some options. This is metric. This is going to say metric. And this is going to say imperial. And this is going to say imperial. So the value is what's going to be sent with the form and what's inside here is what shows to the user. So let's have a look at what our new form would look like. There it is. Okay, that's fine. Uh, notice that nothing's happening here. We want to just connect these together. Uh, so what we're going to do is in the onChange function, uh, we're going to call uh, this other function that I've written called select change units. I'll explain why it's different in a minute. Alright, so each radio button distinguishes itself, but each option isn't distinguished. It's the whole uh, select object that has a specific value. Uh, so uh, what we can do then is we can actually get the units and find out which value is selected and then we can call this original function here. So uh, now uh, we should be able to change. Okay, let's have a look at JavaScript errors. Uh, what have we got? Uh, metric cannot read property value of null. That's interesting. Uh, get element by ID, select units. Well, let's give our drop down box a, an ID of select units. And now look at that. That's a glorious thing. So it really doesn't matter um, if you want to do it with a drop down box or with radio buttons. Uh, I'm going to go back to radio buttons just because I am. That's where I started. Okay, and I'll just check that it didn't break anything. That's fine. 
All right, now we're already we're passing in the unit's value. Um, so I, th I think I demonstrated the feet and inches part to you before. Um, all right, now this is going to be crazy, but now the units is set to imperial. So what we're actually going to do up here is inside our calculate function, we're passing it the height one and height two. They're still useful because this is instead of being meters and centimeters, it's feet and inches. We've got our weight in kilograms or pounds, but we're also going to pass into it the units. And in our calculation class, in our function, we're going to pass in the units. We're going to set units to units. And then before we set the height here in meters, uh, we're going to do a check. So we're going to check if units is equal to. So we can do a string comparison, of course. STR comp of units with imperial. All right, so STR comp string compare if string in units and the string imperial are equal to zero. The difference between them is the same. Okay, if you want to know more about SDR comp, uh, you can go and look that up. So this line here says these two strings are the same. So if they are the same, then this height, we need to convert height major it's currently in feet and this is currently in inches now we've been given here the conversion formula for height in feet and inches into meters so i'm just going to take this and i'll pop it here all right so height in feet is our height major. So that's that. So the height major times 12 plus the height in feet, which is our height minor, all of that needs to be wrapped in a bracket and we're timed by this factor. So 5 feet times 12 turns that into inches, plus this many inches. All of those inches times by this factor gives us our height in metres. And then we need to convert our weight. Now, hang on a minute. So we've got height major and height minor that were passed in. We've got height that we've calculated. So I think we need to create a new variable called height passed because we actually want to keep that information for later on. All right, and we'll create a new variable here called weight. So we've got these three variables that are what are passed in. So we're going to set our weight passed. All right, now we've got units. Well, we're only not doing anything with units. Oh, we do need to uh, create a variable here, don't we? Protected units. Okay, we would have got that error message. I caught it before the compiler did. Interpreter, interpreter. Height, major, minor, past, weight, units. All right, and so this weight 
is equal to the weight passed in pounds and again we've got our conversion factor here so we'll just copy that All right now so if they passed in imperial we're converting the feet and inches into meters we're converting the pounds into kilograms if they did not pass in imperial in other words they pass in metric we could check to see if it's metric and then we could check to see if it's something else some and throw an error but we won't worry about that for now then the weight is equal to this weight passed so this part is our conversion and we don't need to change any of this so the calculation of the BMI is still using the metric weight and the metric height regardless of whether metric or imperial was passed in hopefully that's making sense uh, let's have a look at it in action so we'll just double check before we carry on uh, that our metric is still working we didn't break anything so one meter 80 and uh, 76 that seems to still be working um, got up here we've got our weight past variable and our weight variable you can see they're the same uh, so if I go for uh, 5 foot 10 in imperial measures and uh, 175 pounds, what does that give me? Uh, a bit overweight, never mind. Uh, but we can check here, 5 foot 10, 175. And go over here, 5 foot... Oh, well, I just typed in. 5 foot 10, uh, 175 pounds. Oh, no, I said 5 doesn't like 174 pounds that's really okay so there we go 24.9 let's go 176 pounds is overweight 175 pounds compared to 74 mm. so I imagine that it's taking the 175 it's converting it to metric, doing the calculation, and then turning it back into pounds. And we're losing a bit of data there. Oh, okay, we're going to build a better system than that. Uh, so we've got our BMI, 25.1. We're overweight. Okay, that's fine. Uh, if we were to put in <coughs> 5 foot 10 and 174 pounds, it would just sneak in to the healthy range there. <clears throat> so uh, we've got a couple of things to do here. We can now put in our units and then we need to do something with this display message because they did not enter in 5.1 meters. That's pretty darn tall. Uh, I reckon if you're 5.1 meters and you're only weighing 175 kilos, oh, I don't know. That's curious. Let's find out. <laughs> Ah, 75 kilos. You're underweight. Yeah, you're a skinny giant. Uh, obviously, that's not true. Uh, let's um, I'll remind myself later. We'll come back and make sure these values are reasonable. Will we? Um, but we need to make sure that if we enter in five feet ten inches, 175 pounds. Um, that this does not say meters and this does not say kilograms. All right. So units, that's easy. Uh, I'm sure you all know how to do that. I'm going to come down to this little section here and I'm going to echo out BMI units. Easy as that. Back to our page. There we go. Units imperial. No worries. Now, if you want to be fancy and format it so that it's a case or whatever, 
uh, we can do that. Let's have a look. PHP title case. You see first. Oh, look at that. So let's take all of that. Go you see first. And look at that now, it says Imperial. Great, isn't that exciting? But notice that our underlying data still says lowercase, and that's important because in our code uh, we're actually checking for that exactly. Now, it's true, uh, we could use the str n case comp. which compares without using case, but we're not. Uh, so that's that part done. Uh, now I need to do something with this. Now, again, there's a trade-off here between how much logic we want to build into our display uh, and how much we want to keep out of the display. So, um, Again, there are so many different ways that we can do this. One simple way is to create some functions within the class about how you might display elements from the class. So for example, uh, I could create a, uh, a public function called uh, display height. Oops, display height and what we might do is we might go uh, if this units oh, get, uh, I'll just copy this uh, where is it gone but if the units is imperial uh, if the units is imperial what we're going to do is we're going to return a concatenated string that says this height major concatenate with feet or I can um, escape a quote plus Concatenate this height minor, concatenate that. Well, I only want one of those. Um, I don't want to get there, but I do want to get there. So this should output something like uh, five, five. Oops, five feet, uh, ten inches. Okay. Hey, if you want to put the word feet and inches there, that's fine. Else, we're going to return. Oops. <laughs> uh, else, we're going to return. Uh, I might do it like this. Five point. Well, this is how we did it before. Five point. Uh, mine, uh, that's all we need, I think. So that's going to be 1.80. Now, if they gave us uh, 2, that's a really interesting point. We divided it by 100, didn't we? Mm. Well... Let's think about that. Uh, so here, instead of building up all of this, now we can call, simply call, um, display height. And five or 10 inches, or if I use metric, one meter 80, with 75 kilos 
1.8 or whatever to our M. <sighs> Nasty. Yeah. What is going on? Come on. I've got to calculate that M on the end. Uh, oh. Going well. Okay. Here we go. There's our M. Okay, we've got there. So we can now change between metric and imperial. We have got our uh, style working. Uh, we're giving the date and we're feeding back what they have already told us. So in uh, that then takes us to uh, the end of 1.1. So the next thing to do is to look at some file uh, saving, which is really going to mess with your brains. Okay.